The Bible says in Psalm 64 or 46, sometimes my dyslexia catches up with me, so you can look it up and see the Psalm 46 or 64, that there is a stream, there is a river, whose streams make lead, 46, thank you, there is a stream, a river, whose streams make glad the city of God, the dwelling place of the Most High. So when we come together in the Spirit, when we come together in worship, watch this, that stream of living water that flows out of each of, each of us starts to confluence together and make a river. So the river is a flow of the Holy Spirit, but it's a river that our streams make up so that when my stream joins to your stream and your stream joins to their stream and our streams flow together, we create a river and that river can take me where I cannot go alone. Because I can only flow in where my stream is taking me. But when my stream and your stream mixes together, there's a great river that can take us where we've never been before. This is why when sometimes you come to church all bent out of shape, but the anointing starts to be released through the worship, through the word, through the fellowship, and you leave feeling so much better than you came. How many of you have had that experience? If your hand isn't up, you're a liar and we have to change the message. Because it's been all of our experience at one time or another where we've all said, including the pastor. I'm not coming to church today. <laughs> but you're the pastor. I don't feel like it. I'm this, I'm that, I'm tired. Blah, 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 blah. But you go, and what happens is the confluence of the Spirit of God flowing out of everybody lifts up the, the, the if you will, the, the depth of water rises. The depth of water rises. Thank you, Lord. It says in Psalm thirty six. Well, I want to do Psalm 36 and also Psalm 65. I want to share with you just a couple of things about this river before we move on. Psalm 65, verse 9. You visit the earth and cause it to overflow without this greatly enrich it. The stream or the channel of God is full of water. When we're coming together, this stream gets full of God. It, it gets full of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And in Psalm 36, it talks about that in this, in this um, river, Psalm uh, 36, verse 8, They drink the fill of their abundance of their house, and thou dost give them to drink of the river of thy delights. The river of delights. How many of you ever been in a river of delight? A couple of you know what I'm talking about. How many of you would like to flow in a river of delight? Yeah. How many of you really want to do it? Hands, feet, everything up, right? Jump in. Now here's how it gets created. The enemy knows this is why he creates counterfeits and substitutes. We get together, we have a church service, we sing a few songs, and then we move on to the rest of the service, and we never actually really enter into worship. Now, I know that that's not true in this church, because I know your ministry and your heart, so I don't want to think anybody thinks I'm casting any aspersions. I'm certainly not. But there are many churches that have services that are con uh, controlled, contrived, constrained, and you don't get... You know, you get a couple of songs, so we sing songs, but we never actually enter into worship. Watch this, where everybody's stream can, can begin to confluence together, and that anointing can start to rise. So as we do do that, as we give ourselves time to really worship, not just sing songs about the Lord, but worshiping God and entering in to that place of worship, and the, the rivers start to confluence together, 
there's a life that is released and you can literally feel that life start to flow in you and take you and that you know the blocks inside of you the resistance the reluctance the bad thoughts you know the the, the trouble you are having with your spouse or your family or your job or your problems that you know are dragging you down that they that literally starts the water starts to lift you up and you begin to move in the river of God's delights his pleasure and and his life starts to flow so we have this opportunity we get out of ourself we make Jesus Lord we believe in him we trust in him out of our river out of our spirit starts to flow this river we come together <coughs> so that these streams <coughs> create a river that makes glad the city of God and we start to worship now Here's something that the Lord showed me, <clears throat> excuse me, as we worship in the Spirit, that is we're worshiping with the Spirit because we're out of ourself and we're not thinking about ourselves, we're focusing on Him and encountering Him, letting your spirit encounter God, letting everybody else's spirits confluence together as we worship. A couple of things start to happen. So if this has never been your experience, allow me to introduce it to you. If it has been your experience in the past and you haven't done it for a while, let me reintroduce it to you. And if you are doing it, let me continue, let me uh, affirm that and encourage you to continue. Because here's what the Lord showed me. When the river of worship is flowing, there is a release of what he has given me to call the song of the Lord or what the Psalms speak also about the new song sing unto the Lord a new song and that's not the latest song to make it to the top of the charts it is the song of the Lord that's in your spirit that comes out of you as you worship God according to the flow of the Holy Spirit. So it could be a song of adoration, a song of praise, a song of worship, a song of declaration, a song of proclamation, a song of intercession. You will begin to hear that prophetic song come out of you. Now the enemy hates this so he'll try and minimize it or stop you. You sound bad. That's daft. Don't sing that. Don't say that. Sit down. Shut up. You sound terrible. The people around you are looking at you. They want you to shut up. And they're not even thinking about you at all. Because frankly, you're not that important. <laughs> Nor are you that interesting. Well, some of you are interesting. That's besides the point. I just think there's entertainment value everywhere. <laughs> I just love Holy Ghost popcorn, you know. Sometimes you just got to sit back and enjoy the show. It's like, how many of you know what I'm talking about? How many of you are stars of the show? Hallelujah. How many of you want to be the star of the show? <laughs> I'm warning you. All right. I told you, be careful what you say yes to. She got it. Hallelujah. Okay, so here we are, right? Now we're worshiping. We're allowing the Holy Spirit to flow through us. The song of the Lord starts to flow. Here's typically what has happened in many churches is we have this is there's nothing wrong with this kind of worship. I'm just telling you there's another level that I believe God wants to bring us into. We all sing the same words to the music. The words go on the projector and we sing it and we sing together and it's lovely and it's glorifying and it's good and godly. There's nothing wrong with it. There is another flow of worship. As we come together in the spirit and we're flowing in the river and all of these streams are confluencing together, there is a song, say the worship team is singing a song, that you then in the spirit disconnect the words of that song and connect to it your own words. Because in the flow of the river there are an untold infinite number of words to sing to any melody and there are untold melodies what has happened to us is that a songwriter gifted as they are will get a melody and a set of lyrics put them together and make a song and everybody thinks that's the song but it is only a song to sing with that melody 
and you can sing your own words to that same melody. And there is a time when we worship that the, the, the worship team will begin to flow in the spirit in their gifting on their instruments and just begin to worship with their gifting. And we are not demanding that they sing a song. We're releasing them to do that so that that flow can release the song of the Lord through us. And everybody is singing their own song at the same time. Amen.